Hello. In today's experiment, we'll be turning one metal into another metal, just like an alchemist. Except today, instead of turning a metal into gold, we'll be turning a metal into copper. More specifically, iron into copper. To do this, we'll first need a solution of copper sulfate uh, and we'll mix the copper sulfate in 10 milliliters of water. Firstly, we'll need to measure the amount of copper sulfate we will need, which, will, which in this case is 2 grams. Now that we have a pro uh, two grams, well, approximately two grams, we can now uh, measure the amount of water we will need. Which in this case is 10 milliliters. If you pour too much, you can just pour it back in now that we have 10 milliliters of water we can now mix and we can now put it in a test or, or a conical flask and mix it with the copper sulfate. Although of course you'll need to stir before you do anything else. Now that the copper sulfate has dissolved into the water, we can now continue with the experiment. Before we add the iron, we'll need to measure its temperature uh, before and after the reaction to see if it's an endothermic or exothermic reaction. As you can see, the temperature here is around 21 degrees. If after the reaction it goes up, it's an exothermic reaction. But if the temperature goes down after the reaction, it's an endothermic reaction. Now that we've measured the temperature of the copper sulfate solution, we can now measure the amount of iron filings that we need, which is, in this case, 3 grams. Notice how its colour is grey.
now that we've got approximately three grams of iron filings, we can now add it to the copper sulfate solution to see what happens. As you can see, it's already sunk to the bottom with only a bit of it floating at the top. Now, after a little mixing, the iron filings have turned reddish brown. In fact, they're not even iron anymore. Now it's copper. Let's do a bit more mixing and see what happens. Now that we've mixed it more, the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. This means that an exothermic reaction took place because the temperature raised after the reaction. After a while, the reaction is complete. You can now see that the original blue solution is now greenish yellow. This is because the solution is no longer copper sulfate, there is now a different compound, iron sulfate. The grey iron phalanx are now completely surrounded by copper, giving it a reddish brown appearance. Here we have the chemical formula for what happened. Here's the iron, which was grey at the time, and here's the copper sulphate, which was blue at the time. Here, here are the two substances that we mixed. Here's the iron, and this is the copper sulphate. The iron is just represented by one iron atom, whereas here, the copper sulphate is made out of four oxygen atoms, one copper atom and one sulphur atom. When we mixed them, it turned into, into this. So what happened was the copper atom was taken off and they added an iron atom instead leaving the copper in the solution left over. Thank you for watching. See you next time.